So we're in year two. We are celebrating the recipients of the second year of the foundation. And yeah, we're here to congratulate people that do a lot of good work in Brooklyn. I just want to shout out Reverend Daughtry for what he has done, keeping it real. We fund people who do prison work. We're working with physically challenged children, a lot of youth programs. We fund people who are providing health services, you name it. I am most looking forward to seeing community organizations who have operated at the base on a grassroots level receive some recognition. They are often unsung, unrecognized, but I'm looking forward to them being recognized. And I'm looking forward basically to giving them some money in their hands because they've been operating and doing the work as is their calling for year after year after year. Black Vets for Social Justice! Yeah! What we're focusing on and we're thankful for the grant um, we've opened up our arms to veterans who are formerly incarcerated who are now parolees. We're so thankful that we're able to use it to help other people better their lives and better themselves. So we're just elated. We're going to use the money well, um, and we'll come back with some great reports for you guys. We're utilizing poetry to help attract kids to uh, educational excellence, public speaking, creative writing, and basic reading. Greener Poets Cafe loves you, and we say thank you. Uh, we're helping people find their voice. So thank you so much. The Fort Green Council Incorporated. I'm very happy and pleased to uh, be able to participate and receive this grant from the uh, Atlantic Yards uh, Community Foundation. We're planning to, to develop another program, an intergenerational program, in the arts, in music in particular, for the young people and our seniors. The grant will be used toward enhancing that program. We are so grateful to the Atlantic Yards NETS DBNA Community Foundation for this very generous grant. It's going to make a huge difference in the lives of Brooklyn youth with disability, and we're so very grateful. Our mission is to get students, youth in, the, in particular, excited about science. We feel like there's a big drought when it comes to STEM education in um, underserved communities, and we want to make sure that we can fill that gap, get students excited about science, and make sure that we expose them to the fantastic world of STEM. With the funding, is just so many things that we needed to do, and we um, wanted to make sure that we can provide state-of-the-art technology for the youth, so we're going to be getting a flat-screen TV so we can kind of cast some of the things that we're doing on a laptop up there so everybody can see it. We're going to get more lab coats so they can actually feel like the scientists that they are when they're working. DBNA has been doing some fantastic work. They've really made a big difference in the community um, and we've been able to trickle that down to our population and it's really making an impact. Thank you. We teach kids from the age 4 to 18 basketball tools and traits of life right now. We're in a major hole as far as getting uniforms because we travel a lot and we like to play in a big venue. So, you know, it'd be a great help to us as a program as far as getting uniforms and fixing up the gym area where we can get a better floor instead of having water on it all the time. We would like to thank the Nets and the DBNA and uh, Reverend Daughtry for all the great things that they're doing for the kids in the community and keeping them off the street to where we can empower them to be better young men and women. We would like to thank the Atlantic Yards DBNA Community Foundation for um, offering us this grant to continue and expand the community work that we've been doing and to help us carry it forward. We call it the Malcolm X Reentry Program. Malcolm went into prison one way and came out transformed. What we want, we hope to do is kind of be, become a resource type of organization that will be able to not only aid <coughs> with whatever resources we have, but to kind of guide uh, prisoners to organizations who can help them uh, get reestablished in this society. The grant will now position or be used to take the AACO or the AAC um, organization and give it its 501 c 
So the building capacity is now establishing as a legit organization that can receive funding to help others. I just want to say that Dr. Daughtry has been a vision, and we know what the Bible says, visionary. The Bible has talked about without a vision to be prepared. That's right. So we just want to just give him kudos and thank him for everything that he has done in Brooklyn and around the world. We do several programs, but the basic mission is to reduce reduce health disparities and improve health outcomes. Well, we're going to be using the grant, the very generous grant, thank you, uh, for the Health Science Academy. That's a health science after school program located at SUNY Downstate. We'll be using the funds to help address the 150 kids that we'll be serving this year. We have an after school program. We're going to use the funds for that after school program to improve the quality of what we do there. Get better laptops, uh, we intend to get smart for it and things like that. Uh, supplies that are quality so that we can continue to educate the youth there. graders to prepare them for the specialized high school test. And once they're in high school, we support them um, academically through tutoring and also emotionally and socially through workshops and a mentorship program. Family Life Development Center. We have different programs, sex education, social development, social interaction, um, trying to bind families back together again. It's non out of pocket for none of the families. Um, basically, we'll be developing more recreational programs for them, trips, and other different activities and tools they would need to um, develop. So, BCID is Brooklyn's Independent Living Center, which is essentially a disability rights organization. So, we provide services and advocacy to empower people with disabilities to live full and independent lives in the community. But the main thing we'll be doing with it is supporting our youth programs. Um, so we have what's called a Youth in Transition program, which su uh, supports students aging out of um, special education in high school, and so it's providing them independent living skills so that they can go on to live full, independent lives in the community. The mission of the organization is to use hip-hop culture and social activism to motivate young adults to transform their community. And so we want to use the money so that we can enhance the programs that we've done around encouraging entrepreneurship, around encouraging the arts, i.e. spoken word is one aspect, and musical production, and also around fighting gentrification. Those are the, the main social justice issues that we're about. But thank you so much, and I just want to give a big shout out to the Daughtry family, to the DBNA, to Atlantic Yards, Far City Ratna uh, back in the day. Uh, the give back that Reverend Daughtry negotiated when many people were against the uh, Atlantic Yards as a complex is paying dividends, not just with us going to see the Nets and or Jay-Z at a concert, but by giving back resources to organizations such as the Universal Hip Hop Parade and so many others. So I just want to shout out Reverend Daughtry for what he has done, keep it real. So there it is, you've seen it, you've heard it, our grantees, our awardees, check out the program. I can't wait to see and to hear about the work that these individuals do. It's a power-packed group of individuals. Thank you for joining us, and check it out.